Hello everybody, so today I will be talking about uh, connecting a full-size graphics card or a PCIe X X16 based graphics card on a M.2 port. So these days a lot of computers have M.2 ports, but they may not have a uh, PCIe X16 ports because they could be laptop computers or they could be a single board computers they could be a small form factor nook computers or a next unit of computing computers that's like a small form factor computer and or you may just have one PCIe Express X16 slot on your computer and you would want to use another GPU on your computer so in this case in those cases you could um, use uh, something like M.2 um, NVMe key M extender cable to PCIe X16 uh, cable so you could use something like that which you see in figure 1.1 to get a extra PCIe X16 uh, slot on your computer and all you have to do is you need a you could look at figure 1.2 and you could connect that to your um, to a empty M.2 slot on your motherboard and this will give you an extra PCIe X16 Express slot for your computer and if you wanted to get an extension uh, cable for that you could let's say that um, the cable isn't long enough so you want to make it a little bit longer you could get uh, you could look at figure 1.3 and look at the PCIe X16 3.0 black extender riser cable so you would connect the connection part which is on the bottom as you can see to the PCI uh, EX16 port and that would extend the that would extend the the port so that would so it'd be long enough you know you could give yourself a little more um, space so you could mount it on your uh, chassis or whatever and as you can see in figure 1.4 that's a laptop motherboard so um, oftentimes when laptops break uh, it's very hard to get a display um, display for a laptop you know that would fit and work so oftentimes uh, when the display um, wears out or breaks on a motherboard people would just throw out their laptops you know but um, but you don't have to throw it away you could just take the laptop apart just get the motherboard and you could mount it on a um, basically um, a chassis you know like a desktop chassis you could like drill some holes in it and uh, basically connect it to a small form factor desktop case and then you could use the laptop motherboard as a computer and if you want to if you want a PCIe X X16 uh, port on that small form factor computer you could do that and uh, as long as it has an M.2 uh, slot like you see in figure 1.4 which is highlight highlighted on the yellow rectangle that's M.2 port you would connect that uh, adapter to your motherboard and you would have an extra port and as for connecting the monitor it's very simple uh, all laptops come with um, DVI ports 
so you could use that for this display and for the keyboard um, you have PCI I'm, I'm sorry USB uh, ports on a laptop and you could connect that to your keyboard and mouse and you would have a uh, a working computer without a uh, laptop display so on figure 1.5 that's a Nook 8 motherboard with two M.2 slots so let's say you want to test out this computer and add a uh, PCIe x16 port on it you could do that by using one of the m.2 slots which which is highlighted with the light orange rectangles so this um, nook motherboard has two m.2 slots one could be used to, for storage for a um, NVMe or M.2 um, storage SSD storage device and the other one could be used for a PCI EX16 uh, port which you can connect a graphics card to and um, you do have to ha get an extra power supply if you use a large graphics card which needs extra power then you would have to get a regular power supply like it anywhere from maybe 500 to 600 watts to power the graphics card or GPU or if you get a small graphics card which doesn't require any power then you could just connect it and it would it should just work and uh, the practical applications of this would be for single board computers that is um, has a X 64 or x86 it has an x84 or x64 architecture not an arm architecture so a computer like that would uh, be able to run um, a full version of linux a linux distros should be able to run windows 7 8 8.1 or windows 10 the various versions of Windows 10 whether it be Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Pro, or Windows 10 Enterprise. It really wouldn't matter. And the next uh, practical application would be for broken laptop computers. Like I said before in figure 1.4, um, if you have a broken laptop with a monitor that's not working or something you could just uh, transform that into a desktop computer and you could use uh, one of the M.2 ports uh, to use it as a um, for a graphics card or something for a powerful graphics card that is if you had a pretty good CPU on that uh, laptop you know then you could use it for that purpose and the next one is um, let's say you have a motherboard you know a desktop a small ITX desktop motherboard which has just one um, PCI Express x16 um, 3.0 or 4.0 slot then you could uh, add an extra one extra um, slot in there so you could uh, use two graphics card for applications like SLI applications so if you if you intend to use two graphics cards then you could do that if you're using it like I said for SLI applications um, and the last uh, ap practical application that I could see this for is like I said before for Nook computers for next unit uh, computing small fa form factor computers you could use it for that you know you could take the motherboard out of the small uh, form factor box which uh, nook computer comes with and you could put it into a larger case you know the screws may not uh, mount up you know 
they may not align so you have to take a drill and drill the holes in the right spot and uh, put the standoffs in motherboard standoffs and you could um, put the standoffs in and you could mount your uh, nook mother nook computer motherboard into a maybe a small form factor desktop desktop case and uh, that would work and if you're using a large graphics card you could put in a large you could put in a regular power supply maybe something like a um, I'll say 500 watts or something because your motherboard isn't going to be powered by the the regular power supply the power supply is only going to feed power to the GPU so that's some of the interesting things you could do with um, a M.2 key M extender cable like you see in figure 1.1 okay um, thanks for watching by ace 1000 KS 1975 signing out